Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to be discussing in detail about the technical specifications of the DigiPad. Now the technical specifications were not highlighted by DigiPad when we brought our car and it was only specified as a DigiPad 1.0 unit which has uh, support for mirror link and on-screen navigation. Now what exactly was the RAM, what exactly was the internal storage, what about the screen quality, the pixel density, screen resolution, all these technical aspects were not shared with us when we brought our cars. So even after buying our cars, we were not able to find out exactly how the DigiPad worked out and what were its insights, what, what is its CPU and hardware configuration. So now in this video for your general information and also if you're interested, I would like to share with you the detailed technical info of our DigiPad so that you can better understand how it works and what is it in comparison to the technology available today and even when the DigiPad first came out in 2017. So let's just dive ahead straight into the technical specifications of the DigiPad. So as you can see it's a Cortex ARM A9 800 MHz processor. So it's a single core processor. Nowadays, even in 2017, when the DigiPad just first came out, there were dual core and quad core processors available. But uh, I don't know why the uh, vendor of this uh, DigiPad tried to make it into a single core in order to cut the cost or maybe something like that. Now it has a single ARM Cortex A9 processor at maximum top rate 800 megahertz. Now, if you are not understanding what 800 megahertz is, the most base core processors we get in our smartphones today will have about 1.4 to 1.5 gigahertz of core processing technology, core processing capacity of maximum frequency. But the DigiPad processor is stopped at 800 megahertz, which is not even half or even less than half of what the capacity was available at the time when we got our digipad so 800 mhz is very less it had to be at least 1.5 uh, gigahertz to 1.6 gigahertz minimum at the time when we bought it but it's even less than that so the next thing we had which you have to see is that the clock speed of the single core is starts at 200 megahertz and ends up at 800 megahertz so 200 megahertz base speed is extremely less now it was supposed to be at least 500 to 800 megahertz which was the should have been the base speed but now they have put the top speed at 800 megahertz which you can see that the vendor has really cut some costs in making this and put a very downgraded processor a very old processor uh, it may be one of the processors which just came out when when the smartphone revolution was beginning so this was just a base processor and they put it in a uh, top end uh, car like this i don't know why they have done this so that's what it is uh, we cannot deny that now so the gpu vendor is the imagination technologies and it is powered by a power sgx 531 which is one of the oldest gpu processors the graphing processing in the gpu is nothing but the graphics processing unit so the graphic processing unit is extremely old and extremely less powerful in the digipad so current CPU load is showing at 15 to 25 percent is rating like that. So that's what it is. But I'm really disappointed in looking at the clock speed of the DigiPad. It is 200 to 800 megahertz, which is extremely less. And this is what Honda gave you. So let's just get ahead and uh, let's see what other technical specifications we can find out in DigiPad. So the model, the device model has been given as SIRF SOC <coughs> Android and uh, the manufacturer is the premium sound solutions so this is the company which has made digipad yes the premium sound solutions company which has an office in hyderabad i think and even in pune i think so they have an office there if somebody is living in pune or in maybe in hyderabad they can go to that office and also inquire about this digipad and regarding uh, have any if they have any queries regarding digipad you can ask them so uh, the brand they have written it as CSR so this is the premium sound solutions uh, device made for Honda so they have outsourced it to the premium sound solutions so let's just get ahead and let's see the screen size is shown as 5.83 inches so it's slightly less than 6 inches now ideally at the time when the car came out this was standard uh, somewhat 6 to 7 inches was the standard now we get 12 inches 14 inches screen uh, like in Kia Seltos or something like that but at the time the screen size was decent uh, in 2017 so we cannot say anything about that 
let's just get ahead and let's see the screen resolution screen resolution is 800 into 480 pixels so if you can see here that is not even a high definition display of 720p now high definition displays became a standard almost in 2012 2013 when we got our 720p displays and 1080p displays which are the full hd resolution displays now in digipad they have put a 480p resolution display which is half of a normal high definition display that is extremely bad i don't know why honda did this i don't know if the honda went through the technical specifications of this digipad or maybe they did intentionally to in order to cut the costs or make some more profit so it is a 480p utterly disappointing display then the screen density is 160 dpi which is even more astonishingly disappointing because it is crazy to have a screen density of 160 dpi in times of 2017 and 2018 when the digipad came out so the total ram the next get on to next ahead and the total ram is 899 mb so it is not even 1 gb or more than that now ideally it should have been 2 gb uh, considering in 2017-2018 the phones and smartphones and all the Android units were coming with minimum 4 GB of RAM that was a minimum there 4 GB and even the lowest of the lowest Android phones were getting 2 GB of RAM and uh, in our digipad as you can see it's written there it is 899 MB so it's not even 1 GB so the available RAM is 704 MB so you can see the usually the total RAM avail uh, uh, available in the digipad and the available RAM will be entirely different because the apps and the system maps will be running on it so the total RAM reduces even less and it's now it's currently standing at 704 MB so it's almost like a half GB it's like 500 MB nearly which is available RAM and let's get on ahead let's see the internal storage the internal storage is 0.86 GB that is how much not even 1 GB so internal storage has been provided very less it's less than 1 GB so should have been 2 GB as well because uh, the kind of technology which was available 3 to 4 years back was much better than what they have provided here and out of the internal storage which have they given the available storage is 0.7 GB which is even less than the actual storage which is given there so there are no, there is nothing much you can put in there even if you put a slightly more apps or you can put some uh, video files or something the digipad will start to get hang because of the uh, storage of filling up so this is it guys the horrible way the digipad has been made by premium sound solutions for honda so the screen size is 5.83 inches and it has a resolution of 800 into 480p pixels and the screen density is 160 dpi the total ram is 899 mb and the available in that is 700 mb odd and the internal storage is 0.86 gb out of which the 0.79 gb is user available so let's just get a revision and it has a 800 megahertz processor which is extremely less and a power vr sgx531 gpu so for going on further the system android version it is showing as 2.3.7 which was android gingerbread uh, at that time and even in 2017-18 gingerbread was almost outdated but still they put android gingerbread in digipad they should have put in, put at least lollipop or uh, oreo or something like that at that time but they didn't let they went ahead with android gingerbread version which is the oldest gingerbread version at, it has an api level of 10 which is quite old now build uh, ID is showing as clearly as gingerbread ENG. Now the Java version is Dalvik 1.4.0 and the OpenGL is 2.0. And the kernel architecture is ARM v7 as you might have observed in various uh, apps which I have shown you. The kernel version will be written as ARM v7 and it has got a root access so that the uh, Honda could um, uh, modify the software in order to suit the car. So this is the technical details of our uh, digipad the most horrible details for an in-car entertainment system i don't know why honda did this or why premium sound solutions went with such a cheap technology and such a cheap hardware in order to fill their uh, fill the honda's needs for a digipad so, so that's it guys there's nothing much written on the battery side here and also thermal and there are some sensors available it's like rotation vector sensor linear acceleration sensor and a gravity sensor available in the digipad so nothing much on the thermal or the battery data only the system data as you can see here you can take a screenshot if you want to just to get to know what your digipad is or digipad does have in this and uh, as i saw about as i told you about the device the details it's completely written here you can see that as well and the soc that is system on chip so single core 800 megahertz 
200 to 800 megahertz processor with a power vr sdx 531 so this is the state of our digipad so in spite of being such outdated in spite of being such old uh, device i am still trying to bring out so many apps and uh, features and games for this digipad in order to make it better in order to make it more useful than it actually is so i hope you like that effort i hope you do like all the apps which i have shown you and uh, if you like this video if you like what i brought you today regarding the technical specifications of the digipad make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like the video and comment below how you felt this how you felt about this video then have a good day